What's up, people? Back again. How are everybody doing today? Let me move my glass. I swear, every time y'all click this video, right? Right or wrong? Every time y'all click on my video, right or wrong? Am I or am I not drinking something every time you click this video? <laughs> I told y'all like a few weeks ago, I have to drink something like my mouth just during summer when it get hot, my mouth gets so dry. I have to keep water on me. I, normally, I'm always drinking water. Normally. Yesterday, I think yesterday I had pink lemonade yesterday, I think. Or was that the day before? No, yesterday I had water. The day before that was pink lemonade. Today, got my orange, got my orange. I can't live without my orange. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, let's get into this episode. I Listen, I'm going to be real with you about this episode. I know some of y'all might have thought it was boring or whatever. I'm going to be honest with you. I didn't fast forward anything in this episode today. Not a scene. Not a scene. I'm being real. I thoroughly, I was glued to the TV today just watching every scene play out. Every scene. I actually liked it. Carly and Sonny, I like their scenes today. I really do. I know people always say I got something mean to say about it. That's not true. That's not true. Not totally. I just can't. The only, really, when I say mean things about the, about the characters is because the hypocrisy that goes, that comes out of their mouth, that kind of pisses me off. Because we, as the fans, we know their history. You know what I'm saying? We've watched the show. A lot of us watched the show for years, since the 90s, some since the 80s. You got some fans that watched since the first day. So we know the history of these characters and the shit that they've done over the years and they act like they didn't do anything. And it kind of pisses me off to an extent. But I enjoy Carly and Sonny scenes today, them at the island reminiscing about the old days when they brought Michael and Morgan to the island. Um, And this actually reminded me of something that Christina said years ago, back in like 2009. Sonny has no memories of Christina at that island. <laughs> I don't think he ever took Christina to the island because I remember Christina mentioned how she never really, as a kid, she barely was around Sonny, you know, but he fought harder for Michael and Morgan. Like, remember all the times Carly threatened to take the kids away from him? He fought harder for them than he did for Christina when Alexis didn't want him around. So I could kind of see where, you know, Christina's coming from because he never brought Christina to the island. I think he probably did once, but I... Uh... He spent more time at the island with Carly and the boys than he ever did with Christina, which I think is fucked up. I mean, it's a little trifling, but, um, yeah, I like seeing them together though. You know, it's not that I don't like Sonny and Carly as a couple or whatever, but it's like when they keep bringing up divorce, it's a little redundant. It's like, I don't want to keep, you know, going back and forth on a merry-go-round of Sonny and Carly with this, oh, we're getting married. We get married. Then we're divorced. Then we get married again. Then we're divorced. It's it's like a never-ending cycle, and it's getting ridiculous after all these years. It's like, seriously, I prefer that the writers keep them married. You know what I mean? Because I don't want to go through another Sonny Carly divorce. That's for damn sure. None of us do. You know, I don't want to see them get divorced again for the fifth time. It's like, no. Like, no. I don't want to see that again. I prefer that they stay married. And I was hoping that after today's episode that they would stay married. Um... So apparently there was a noise on the island and Carly got scared. <laughs> Sonny has a fucking parrot running around the island. Basically, the parrot was on the island when Sonny purchased the island a long time ago. So he just let the parrot stay on the island. You know, so basically the parrot is basically the technically he's basically a part owner of the island. <laughs> Let's put it like that. It's a parrot. But um, yeah, he's basically a resident of the island. I want to know something. How the hell did Garvey know that Sonny was at the island, though? Because just that same day, Gar Garvey was in Port Charles talking with Julian. So how did Garvey know Sonny was on the island? How the hell did he get to the island that fast? I don't know. They teleportation devices. It's crazy. Like, how that man got on that island so quick? <laughs> um. Anyway, moving on from that. This whole Sam and Jason argument, what team are y'all on? Are y'all on team Jason or y'all team Sam? 
I'm kind of split on this one between the two of them. And the reason why I say that is because Michael came to Jason's penthouse because he at first he wanted him to sign a family trust because they're reorganizing the trust or whatever. Then, you know, Jason was telling Michael about the threat against Sonny. So Sonny, I mean, so Michael said he'll call Max or whatever and warn him to let Sonny know. Um, so then Michael offered him a job, basically flying around the world because Michael ELQ was working on a new project. And he needs somebody to go down to the sites and stuff like that and basically be the boss and, you know, make sure everything's in order and stuff like that. So that would mean that Jason would have to go to Asia, Europe, basically all around the world because they got, you know, different areas. And it would also mean that he's away from Sam and the kids for weeks, maybe even months at a time. Sam was giddy. She wanted Jason to take this job. She really did. She wanted him to take it. But Jason said that he had to think about it. Michael told him, like, you know, I need to answer within a few days because he has to fill the position. Um, let me say this. I am on both their sides in this case. I get Sam's reasons for why Jason should take this job. And I get Jason's reason for not taking the job because him not taking the job. I mean, if he took the job, he would be gone for weeks at a time, sometimes months at a time. And, you know, with everything going on with Jake right now, he just feel like he he don't want to leave. You know what I mean? So I definitely get that. You know what I'm saying? I understand it. But I also get Sam's point of view on this. I mean, it's a job that keeps him safe. She don't have to worry about him getting shot, him getting blown up. You know, she just wants him to have a safe environment because they got infant kids. You know, they got small kids to think about. And it's not just one child and, you know, it's multiple kids they got to think about. You know, they got to think about Jake. They got to think about Danny. They got to think about Scout. They, you know, have a lot to consider here. You know, it was a time, yeah, where Sam was an action junkie. Sam was down. She was ride or die with Jason. We all know that. She would get shot at with Jason and she would laugh it off later. But when you have kids, it changes your, your mindset and the way that you think and how you act and, you know, how you react. And so I definitely understand where Sam coming from on this. You know what I mean? She already lost Jason once, you know, five years ago. She's not trying to do it again, you know, and she's afraid that he might relapse into Sonny's old business. I mean, I have to agree with that, too. I mean, Jason finally got out of Sonny's organization after 20 years, you know, and you know how the mob is. Once you got out, they pull you back in. You know what I mean? And. Sam is really pissed because Jason talking about hopping on the jet and going to Puerto Rico to, you know, see Sonny face to face to warn him. And Sam said, hell no. So if he's talking about going then she's going with him, you know, she want to make sure everything is copacetic and I don't blame her. You know what I mean? Like I personally, I mean, I'm going to tell you what I think on him taking the job. I think Jason should take the job with EOQ. I think he should. I mean, what else is he going to do in Port Charles? I feel like even if he don't take that position, I think he should take a job with ELQ. I think ELQ is the best bet for him. Because at this point, I feel like the the writers don't know what they want to do with Jason career-wise. I don't think they know what they want him to do. You know, it was a point where they kind of, a few months ago, when he was working with Curtis, they kind of hinted at him being a PI or whatever. But I guess that's not going to happen. So it's like maybe they're hinting at him going into ELQ which I think wouldn't be bad. He doesn't have to take that position at Michael Orphanum. Maybe there's another job he can take, you know, maybe. I think he should. <clears throat> I, I, you know what? I say that because let me tell you something. I'm single. I have no kids. So it would be fun for me to take that type of job. If it was real, you know, I would take that type of job. Should I get to fly around to different countries? Hell yeah, I'd take it in a heartbeat. But <laughs> I'm just saying that's me, though. But I would take it. But um, now moving on from that. Ah, Nell and Nina. I just hope that they make this into a real storyline about Crimson, though. You know, with them working together and stuff like that. I hope that they bring Crimson back to the forefront because I actually missed that magazine. It was a dope magazine when K. Howard ran it. And you had Lulu and Maxie arguing about every little damn thing. It was fun back then, you know, so I hope they can make it fun again. Um, I kind of understand where Nell is coming from, where Nina is concerned, you know, about her being in Charlotte's life. 
I think Nina should be a part of Charlotte's life. You know, she is still legally her stepmother. I think she should. And the reason being is because Nina grew a bond with Charlotte. And I feel like it's not right that Charlotte not only lost her father, but now Nina's out of her life too. And I feel like that's way too much change for that little girl. She grew a bond with her. And I think, you know, I don't see the harm in her spending some time here and there with Nina. You know, I definitely don't see the harm in that. I did love the scenes, though, with uh, Charlotte, Dante, and Lulu. You know, it's those little family scenes that I love. You know what I mean? Like, they're dope scenes. And I'm glad that they're shedding light more on their family. You know what I mean? I do like that the writers are doing that. Um, Michael and Nell, I'm, I'm trying to get on board with their relationship. I'm trying to. Really, I am. I'm really trying to like it. I'm trying to. You got to, you know... Give me a little bit more time. I'm, I'm warming up to them. I'm warming up. I just say, I, I will say this. If Michael ever marries Nell, I will say this. He better, and I do mean this, he better have that chick sign a prenup. I'm just saying. Because she could take everything he got right now. Of course, she can't take a majority control of EOQ, obviously. But I just think he should have a prenup if that ever happens. I'm just saying. Moving on to the Manlander storyline. I was against this storyline at first. Not against it, but I just didn't see any interest in it at first. But I, I'm warming up to this storyline because, you know what? It is something different. It's something new. You know, it's something that's not being done. And I kind of like it. And I'm warming up to Amy just a little bit. She still annoys me to a certain extent. But like I said yesterday, Jennifer Bassey has made me like this storyline. All because my girl Jennifer is a part of it. Um... So basically, they got the book deal, but Nathan, of course, is against putting his photo on the book because on the cover of the book because he's a cop. He can't do that, you know. It's a huge conflict. But um, Amy found a way around it, so they got a book deal, and now she can get the money to save her brother. So good for her. I'm happy for her. I just don't want to see her and Nathan hook up. I'm just saying. I think that would be disastrous. But I will tell you all this, if you didn't know, Kirsten Storms is back on set. She's filming new episodes, so the diva's back, Maxie is back. We don't have an air date yet, but she will be probably on in the next probably month or so. Because she's filming episodes right now, so she'll definitely be back quickly. Um, Spencer. I love the scenes with Spencer, Kevin, and Laura. I love them. Spencer is a handful. But I can understand, you know, Windermere, I think he likes living at Kevin's house. He likes Kevin's house. But I think Windermere has been home to him since he was a baby. You know, he loved that place, you know. So he's worried about what's going to happen to it now that Valentine's in jail. Kevin and Laura try to reassure him everything's going to be all right. But he really wants his old family home back. I can't blame him. Um. So while Kevin and... uh. Laura are talking he basically sneaks out the back door to go see Nina because Nina is still Valentine's wife so I think she has some type of claim on Windermere or whatever at this point so he probably going to her to see what her plans are about Windermere and what they plan on doing because he wants his family home back like I said I can't blame him but anyway I love Kevin and Laura as a couple I will say that I love it because you can see the genuine chemistry that they have and I think the writers did a good job putting them together. I can't at this point see Laura with anybody else. There's nobody else on the canvas that they could really put her with. So I like seeing them together. Um, all in all, for me, this was a pretty good show. You know, I liked it. So hit that comment button. Tell me what you thought about it. Um, what do you think about Jason and Sam and their argument today? Are you team Sam? Are you team Jason? Or are you split? Are you both on both sides? Um, so anyway, I'll see you all tomorrow. Hit that like button, hit that comment button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you all tomorrow. So have a great day. Enjoy the day. Go out, have fun. It's a nice sunny day. See you later.